Hello everyone, my name is Adam Reposvox and welcome to another Windows 10 update or anniversary update video. In this video, I'm going to be comparing the old Skype versus the new Skype. Yes, there is a new version of Skype with the Windows 10 anniversary update. And instead of it being like an update to the desktop app, I did check for updates here by going to help check for updates and there was a new one. Okay, now after a sign in and sign out, it actually swaps the old one. For the, or the, yeah, the old one for the new one. I had it open, and it automatically closes it whenever the new one opens. That's trippy. And it just closed that one. It didn't do that before. Okay, so this isn't a direct replacement for the desktop app, because it does still, like, this you would download from their website, and it would, you know, you'd install it with a normal installer, and you'd have it here. However, the new Skype, you actually download from the Windows 10 store. So if we search for Skype, it's currently listed under Skype Preview. I'm assuming that was for the Windows Insider program and they need to update that because that would be a weird final name for the program. So you'll want to download and install it from here and it's a fairly small file. And then you can actually see screenshots from the mobile version, the PC version, and the HoloLens version. Okay. But how does it compare to the old version? Well, since we can't show them at the same time anymore apparently, here you can see what the old version looks like. It has this very white basic theme you got contacts list here on the side or conversation list here and scroll through. You've got your mood and your profile up here that you can click in and change your mood. Blah, 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 test. You can start conversations. You can go home. You've got settings for the app up here in the traditional Windows program style. And then if you want to add a contact, contacts, add contacts, search directory. And that's the old one. Let's take a look at the new one because the new one is pretty cool. It is annoying, however, that they swap programs here. Sign in. Now it's signing, yep. As soon as you sign in, it kills the other one. So this is what the new one looks like. Now this is not what it looks like by default. By default, it actually has a dark theme. And it's gonna make me relaunch it here. All right, I'm gonna pin this to my taskbar so I can quit typing it in. So it actually has a dark theme as well as the light theme, which some may appreciate. This looks more like an Xbox One style interface. I do not. You still have the basic layout though, however of contacts and conversations over here on the left, although now you have a new category for the various bots on Skype. I honestly don't give two craps about bots on Skype. Like, I'm not going to get into this. If you're interested, you can. But you can start searching for Getty images or Bing Music or something like that. I can't imagine that many people will use this, but it's there. Again, recent conversations. So got the call, video call, their status and stuff like that up here. And if you go to settings, these are the normal-ish settings for normal Skype, for the old version, which is fine. And you also have the light and the dark theme. I'm going to keep it on the light theme. It's easier for me to see. What I'm not seeing is audio device settings. That is no longer a separate setting here in Skype, which is fairly problematic for me. You also have the option to automatically use your address book on Windows here to sync your Skype contacts which is nifty. You may not want it if you're worried about privacy. And you have the options to allow messages from anyone or only contacts and calls from anyone. And as a privacy thing, since I am showing my Skype here, which everyone freaks out about in videos, I don't accept friend requests of people I'm not expecting or people I don't know, and I will not be adding them. And then you click your name down here. The three bars just kind of expands this view so you know what everything is. And then you click your name down here to update your mood and your status. It's a couple extra clicks for the status, which is fairly annoying. Another annoyance is that there is no system tray icon for this Skype. You do, you will, you should get notifications for Skype through the action center instead of the little bloop and the icon down here. But I much preferred the system tray icon so I could always just glance down and see if I have any unread messages. That's just me. You can also change your profile from here as well or take a new one. I'm not going to do that. So that is the main differences between the Windows 10 Store app version of Skype, and or the new one, and the old one. If you have any questions or any ideas for Windows 10 anniversary videos that you want to see that you're curious about, leave a comment down below. Otherwise, if you enjoyed the video, if it was helpful for you, or if you, you just liked it, smash that like button, get subscribed for more awesome tech videos, come check out our Patreon where you can support free tech educational content like this by contributing a monthly contribution and getting early access to videos and other awesome perks over on my patreon.com slash eposvox page. We just got a new patron to the circle uh, by the name of Angel. Thank you very much. And otherwise, 
I will catch you in the next video. Just a heads up, for those of you wondering about the Skype video, I have actually switched back to using the old Skype for desktop. For whatever reason, notifications aren't, or like messages aren't always coming through anymore. I've noticed sometimes whenever I pull the window back up, if it's been minimized, it has to reconnect, it says like connecting at the top, and then I've started getting a lot of happy birthday messages on my phone that aren't showing up on the Windows 10 Skype app. I don't know what's going on. Until they get that sorted out, I'm probably going to stick with the desktop version on top of having the system tray icon when which I can actually tell how many messages I have and things like that. So just letting you know my preferences as people always like to ask about that. Alright, that's it for this video. Have a good day. Please subscribe, all that jazz. What am I, PewDiePie?